everyone, I'm Taylor and welcome to today's video. Um, this week I actually have kind of good lighting because after last week's video it was low-key depressing looking at it. I decided to buy a pretty, like just a regular ring light. I just got one to lay in on my room because I cannot film before 4pm and I have a south facing window with trees and stuff and it mostly gets morning direct light and that's like the only time that my room's actually lit up and I never see it anymore because I'm either always upstate or working. So it's really sad, but I got this ring light that will hopefully make me feel better. It has like different lights, so like there's like a more white one and then even more white one and then like a like yellowish one. I like the yellow one the most. I'm so sorry if the reflection of the ring light in my glasses annoys you. And I'm so sorry if me pointing that out is making it all you can like pay attention to. I promise you'll forget about it. Yeah, I just, I don't have contacts right now because I ran out. So I just went to the eye doctor to get a new prescription and stuff because I am so blind. But I am actually so blind that they don't even have sample contacts for me. Like they have to send me samples and then I have to order my contacts. It's this whole thing because like usually if you have glasses, you would know you have to like or you usually just get a pair of contacts for free because those are your like sample ones to make sure they're all comfortable and stuff. But no, nope. also today I'm at my bed. I'm covering a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you noticed, my room's a mess. I don't have time to clean it. I really wanted to film this video like now. Today's Monday so I can get it out because this video is already late because if I wanted to make weekly videos, I would have had to post another video yesterday. I'm actually doing a plant wishlist video today. Next week I'm planning on doing a whole tour of my plants except I don't have many. Like I have a lot of propagations from like my mother plants but I don't have many extreme like rare plants. But I think that's actually great to show and promote on social media especially plant tube because I feel like a lot of people look down on themselves because they don't have such cool and intricate plants and yes obviously one day i hope to be able to afford all these beautiful magnificent plants that i'm going to talk about but for now i have my little beginner plants and i love them just the same i've learned that i hate having plants that i'm not emotionally attached to and that i'm not excited about i don't know why i'm like acting like i'm introing that video that's for next week this week's the wishlist plant video but it's just like a big change because this week I'm going to be talking about pretty expensive plants and then next week I'm going to be back showing you the reality of it but I'll be going in order from least expensive to most expensive and how I figured out the prices is just looking on Etsy about like the average price I saw for a good starter plant. Okay let's get started into the video now that I'm done ranting. So the first plant I'm going to talk about is pretty common and probably really achievable for me because it is only around like 15 to 20 dollars for a four inch pot and that is the skindapsis exotica this is the next skindapsis that i want for my collection last week i showed you guys my skindapsis argirius which i completely mispronounced in the last video even after looking it up and that will be a very common theme on this channel i very much struggle with the english language and how to pronounce certain words but anyways I really would love to have this plant in my collection I love how the variegation shimmers in the sun it literally looks like it it has sparkles on it it's so cool and the argirish like already shimmers a lot so I know that if I got an exotica which is like a lot more like silver than green oh it'd be so pretty and I've seen them around at my local like plant nursery but I haven't picked it up because Yes, they're obtainable, but I love trailing full pants. I love getting full pots of it, so I want to buy it where I can get like a full pot and not just a baby pot because I'm very impatient when it comes to those plants, but any other type of plants, I'm not impatient. Like I would love baby plants, but like, like any type of pothos, philodendrons, like I love just big pots rather than baby things because they're just so easy and like so fast growing. And you like always want to, like I personally always want to make babies of them. So <laughs> I just want them already to be full so I can already just clip cuttings. That's literally what I did last week with my philodendron. Okay, so the next plant on my list is the plant that I have wanted the most. It's $20 for like a four inch pot, starter pot. 
and holy crap i don't even know what attracted me to this plant i think it's because once i got into facebook groups this plant started popping up everywhere it's the cebu blue but it's in the epipreneum family it immediately caught me caught my eye i love the differences between like a regular pothos and the cebu blue the leaves just being so slimmer slimmer but it also being a trailing or climbing full plant like ah that makes me so excited and besides that epipreneum <laughs> are like my favorite genus besides philodendron like they prop both of them are probably like Okay, so the next plant I have is a recent plant and holy crap, this plant is so gorgeous. It is the Philodendron Brandy Brandyatium or the Philodendron Brandy. I love how much support this plant has for itself. Like it has an unusual amount of support. I feel like it puts out like really long shoots before it starts to fall and I feel like this plant is just like meant to climb. It's so freaking pretty. I again never even realized this plant existed until Facebook Marketplace and or not Marketplace but Facebook groups. I've been really getting into those recently. It, like it reminds me of the Scandapsis with like the shimmery variegation so I hope that it shimmers in the sun as well. But I don't know, because I've never seen it in the sun. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is like $20 for a four inch pot that I've seen, or like at least a few cuttings, about $20. But this is like getting more expensive. The next plant I have on my list is the Monstera, uh, hold on, I'm reading it, Stilt Tipicana. <laughs> this is also about $20 for a four inch pot. It, these leaves remind me so much of the Cebu Blue leaves as well. I think that's why I'm attracted to it so much, but also Monstera leaves are just so gorgeous and not like Monstera Delicioso, like unpopular opinion, but not my favorite plant. But the Monstera still took a Canya, Canya, has like such an interesting texture. It almost looks like bumpy. It reminds me of my Monstera Adansonii, which I will show you right now. This is my baby Monstera Adansonii that I've had for about, I want to say like a month and a half and two months. I already put out like four leaves in my care, which is so exciting. But if you look at the leaves, they're just so pretty and textured. And this is like the baby version. Like if this plant didn't have fenestrations and didn't get holy, holy, <laughs> I would be completely fine with it. It is so pretty. Anyways, let's get back to the plant wish list. That was why I want the Monstera still to pick Kenya. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We're getting into the expensive plants now. The next plant that I have on my list that I am in love with, I literally want a baby one and I want to raise it to my own and I want it to get big and glorious. Can you guess which plant I'm about to tell you? The next plant on my wish list is a Philodendron Glorioso and I love this plant. Every time I see it at my local nursery, I'm like, I want it so bad. This is also the plant that first spiked my interest in big plants with fewer leaves. I have obviously have some alocasia. Here's my alocasia. They obviously give off that vibe. They can they have the potential to become big, but they always drop leaves or they have few leaves but are like a more structured plant. But anyways, the Philodendron Gloriosum got me into like those more prominent few leaf plants, like big beautiful leaves, but fewer of them. It's not really a trailing or climbing plant. Actually, this is a crawling plant, which is really cool. And to my understanding, this means the stem grows horizontally, horizontally instead of vertically. So it crawls across the pot. And this is really cool for propagation wise because it is possible to let the nodes that are growing root into the soil already. And then after they're already rooted, then you can cut in between the nodes and you already have roots. But anyways, the Philodendron Gloriosum has amazing leaves if you take care of them correctly and you give them the right humidity and stuff. And yeah, I love it. It is probably second on my overall what I want list. And also that plant goes around for a small plant or like one propagation or whatever, it goes around $100. So yeah, pretty pricey. Not something I'd be getting soon because I'm moving eventually and I don't want to risk killing it. A quick mention, also the Philodendron 
pasta zanon is also on my wish list which is honestly like so similar to the gloriosum except the leaves aren't as velvety as the gloriosum okay we're already to the last plant that i have for today the last plant is the anthurium crystalline crystallinum this also goes around for a hundred dollars for like a basic starter one this is like another bigger but fewer leaf plant and i hear that anthurium are very hard to take care of but i am getting an ikea greenhouse soon by october the leaves of this plant look so thick almost like cardboard which is very interesting that is it for my plant wish list thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you stick to the end um if you liked it please comment what you want to see comment hey whatever i just made a new plant instagram that i haven't posted yet but it's called potted up tay if you want to go check it out and yeah if you want you can subscribe too and see me next week i'm gonna try to post weekly like really trying i've been feeling really motivated lately so i'm thinking it's gonna stick i love you guys so much and i'll see you next week bye